Welcome to episode two of the Disney version of the Castle Scapes and Clones vlogcast. Today we'll be talking about Disney being an admired company, Disney accolades, and more. We are Castle Scapes and Clones, where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and do like this post. Hello, everybody. I'm Lauren, and I'm here with my cousin and co-pilot, Rich. Hello. How's it going? It's going all right. Yeah. Yeah, not much going making on. And, making and breaking it in the world today. <laughs> Right That's pretty much where I yeah. am. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's a, it's a brand new year, same old stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, let's then head into the news. Um, the Walt Disney Company ranks number four on Fortune, Fortune's 2021 list of world's most admired companies. I don't think that that's a big surprise. Um, Probably not. Yeah, I mean, it definitely it has to be in the top five at least. I'm actually surprised that it's as, it's as low as four, but I don't know what the other companies are. But I'm just saying, like, what are the other companies? Yeah, I should have looked those up uh, to see who the other ones are, but and what they're measuring because it's a world thing. So right, you know. I don't know how big Disney is and some like dominates the world. If you but... think about the if Coca-Cola is on that list, I can imagine they'd be higher because they're just everywhere. No, but I mean, you know, I think everybody in the world pretty much knows who Mickey Mouse is. Yeah, but that's not doesn't equate Disney company. Coca-Cola literally is everywhere. Right, right. Like, you don't find Mickey like you don't saw Mickey in a in a in the back of a jeep in a bag with a straw in it. I don't know. Maybe you do. I mean, if you go to from, if you go to Disneyland and get a sipper and put it in the back of a jeep, there you go. <laughs> you still have to be a Disneyland, and that thing has to go through. Like literally, there are. Like even in like like the most rural parts of the company, you'll find a Coke can. Someone's drinking a Coke. Yeah. Of some kind. Yeah. I guess. I mean, in our world, sure, Disney is really big, but in my world, it's number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, good for it to to make the list. And in the top five, that's that's the important part. There you go. I mean, it's not a small company, so it's got to be up there. But no. I, I feel like, uh, like I said, I can see. I don't know the other three would be, or two that would be. Maybe McDonald's. Maybe. And Taco Bell. Not even know. Taco Bell. Yeah, Taco Bell. Amazon. Taco Bell Chihuahua. Is Amazon. Is oh, Amazon. Amazon probably. Probably, yeah, I bet you that Amazon. Because I know everyone, like, especially now. Because mm. <laughs> everyone's like, oh, can't go to the store. Like, even my, my, my employees yeah. use Amazon, so. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, well, um, Pixar Soul is going to be arriving on 4K, Ultra HD, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital on March 23rd. Now, we already can watch it on Disney Plus, um, but for those who don't have it, they can start watching it on March twenty third. And uh, or if you want to yeah. own a physical copy, yeah, I'll, you know what? Even though I, it's not my favorite, I'll probably buy it anyway, uh, just because I'm a I, I'm a completionist that way. Where mm. I have all of the. Pixar films and all of the Marvel films and all of the Star Wars films. I don't know if I have all the Disney films. I think there's some of them that I still don't have. But if I have all the Pixar films, I, I should. I feel like that's easier to do than the Disney films. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the Disney films, some of them go in and out of the vault right. and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'll probably yeah. buy it. I think I will I think buy I've it. purchased a physical movie for a long time. A long time. Yeah, I buy all my my uh, I buy all my movies on DVD. So yeah, I have like digital versions. Because I and just because, don't have the space. Yeah, it was probably last Chris or last Christmas, last Black Friday. It was probably the last time I bought. Oh really? Not, not like this this not twenty twenty Black Friday because twenty twenty is Black twenty twenty. It was just right. horrible. But uh, so <laughs> nine. So 2019 is probably the last time I might have bought a physical copy of something. So that's when I buy most of my movies. Yeah. On Black Friday because they're cheaper. But now with everything is like on digital, so I just do yeah. that because I. It's just no so so for much easier for me, and yeah, it's a space saver for sure. It's kind of like comic books. Like I would love to collect yeah. comic physical comics. I just. Me too. I have nowhere to put them anymore, and. Uh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I've got, I've got like what is it? One, two, three, four, five, twenty book, uh, twenty boxes of comics here, and that is just like it is probably a fourth of my entire. I was about life. to say, like you've the, got the rest is in, than, yeah, the oh, rest okay. are in storage. And I just don't have space anymore. Like I just don't. I really want to support my local comic book right. store, but yeah, you know, it just right. uh, makes more sense for me to buy them digitally now. So everything is, is digital. Is Music has been digital forever. Oh, I don't even know the last time I bought a physical CD. Yeah. Of any, I, I don't even have. I don't even have anything to play a CD anymore. <laughs> Me neither. I don't have. I don't have that, or I like, don't have a Blu-ray player. Like even in my car, I don't think I have a CD player. Yeah, it's what? pretty crazy. I don't even know. That's what's sad. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. It's just you know. I I know there are some people who swear by uh, owning something, and I wish that I could, but. I just yeah. don't have the space. I just don't have room for it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't have room for that. Like, I would need, you know, like, I don't know if they still do, like, those big, like, 500 CD tower spinner racks thing. Mm-hmm. Like, if I kept all of my CDs, yeah, I would need, like, eight of those. And I, not that I would bring eight of those around with me every time I move. Right. <laughs> well, when, when I had my Blu-rays, I, I mm-hmm. had four shelves of Blu-rays in, you know, not small shelves. No. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, and it's so much easier to like just click your remote and not have to right. worry about putting the, the disc in and then having it skip or whatever, you know. Mine has always been, I had so many that like, then you like go to go watch something, you pull out the, the case you open mm-hmm. it and like why is this movie in this case and where yeah. is the actual movie? it's like it's not even empty and there's a cd there's a disc in there yeah. and i'm like all right why is trapped in paradise in the uh little mermaid disc? yeah that's the other thing that, and then you have to do the crazy, reverse crazy. you have to do the reverse sleuth and go to the trapped in paradise one <laughs> open that and be like wait okay that's not even where, it either <laughs> yeah it's, it's somebody yeah where i do that as well i'm like what like how lazy did i get where i just like oh, whatever. <laughs> i know <laughs> uh, anyway yeah well, so coming to uh, all of that, March 23rd. <laughs> all right, well, Disney has been nominated for multiple awards across uh, Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards and Golden Globe um, nominations. Um, so we'll go over some of these here. I just need to open this up. Okay, so the... The uh, Nickelodeon's Kid Choice Awards, um, favorite kids TV show, uh, High School Musical, the musical the series, and Raven's Home is uh, have been nominated. 
Um, favorite family TV show, Blackish and The Mandalorian. That's interesting that The Mandalorian That's is a family TV show. I but mean, hey, Grogu. I know, yeah. True. All the rage. True, true. Uh, favorite reality show, American Idol. Uh, favorite animated series, uh, or not, got nothing, uh, which is interesting. That's interesting. Uh, animated favorite series, yeah, animated series, nothing from Disney. That can't be right, <laughs> yeah, you would think so, but no, I'm looking at the list. Favorite, uh, female TV star, you got Raven Simone. Uh, from Raven, who played Raven Baxter in Raven's Home, and Sophia Wiley, who plays Gina on High School Musical, the musical, the series. Uh, favorite male TV star is Joshua Bassett, who plays Ricky on High School Musical, the musical, the series. Um, favorite movie, Hamilton and Mulan. Uh, favorite movie actress, Yifu Liu. For, who played Mulan in Mulan. Favorite movie actor, Lin-Manuel Miranda, who played Alexander Hamilton in Hamilton. Favorite animated movie, Onward, Phineas and Ferb, the movie Candace Against the Universe, and Soul. Uh, favorite voice from an animated movie, T Tina Fey, who's 22 in Soul. Jamie Foxx, who's Jane, Joe Gardner in Soul. And Chris Pratt, who is Barley Lightfoot in Onward. I'm surprised that uh, that Tom, Tom Holland. Holland was in in there. Chris Pratt, because I thought he was still the Thunder. He is. <laughs> I tell you, any uh, standouts in there for you? Um, honestly, the only one that's really surprising is no nominations for. For animated animated series. Series. Like I wonder yeah. what the criteria is. I don't know. Because um, but then again, I'm thinking like, how many animated series are there? Well, there's. I mean, you got that. What's that green show? <laughs> uh, uh, like I, I forget the name of the show, but it's something. Oh yeah, yeah. Guy, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The guy that they they kind of look Simpson esque. Uh, and then mm -hmm. you've got Big Hero 6, the series. DuckTales would have Duck qualified. Um, yeah. uh, I, I can't remember what else is on. I feel like that's for that alone. Yeah. Then again, it is a Nickelodeon thing. <laughs> right. So right. Exactly. maybe they're a little also biased. You know, I'm like, do we yeah. want to nominate DuckTales or a Nickelodeon shows? Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? All right. So then for Golden Globe nominations, hang on to your hat because there's a lot of them. Uh, Best Motion Picture Drama, Nomad Land, uh, which is from Searchlight. Best Performance of an Actress by an Actress in a Motion Picture, Andra Day for the United States versus Billie Holiday from on Hulu. And Frances McDormand uh, from Nomadland, uh, Searchlight. Best performance by an actor in a motion picture drama, uh, Nobody. Um, best motion picture musical or comedy is Hamilton, Walt Disney Pictures. Palm Springs, uh, Hulu. And uh, best... Uh, performance by an actor in a motion picture, musical, or comedy. Lynn Manuel Miranda from Hamilton, Disney Plus. Dev Patel, The Personal History of David Copperfield, Searchlight. And Andy Samberg, Palm Springs, Hulu. Then Best Motion Picture Animated, uh, Onward, Pixar, Soul, Pixar. Best in Motion Picture, Foreign Language, um, nothing. Uh, nothing in there, nothing in that category. Nothing. Uh, best Director, Motion Picture, Chloe Zhao, um, Nomadland, Searchlight. She is also the director of The Eternals. Um, 
Best Screenplay, Motion Picture, Chloe Zhao, Nomadland, Searchlight. Uh, best Original Score, Motion Picture, Trent Reznor, uh, Atticus Ross, and John Batiste from Soul. Um, a, that is such a combo. Yeah, that's interesting. Best Original Song, Motion Picture, is uh, Tigress Tweed, The United States versus Billie Holiday, sung by Andra Day and Raphael Sadiq. Uh, best drum, television drum, Best television series drama, The Mandalorian, Disney Plus. Uh, best performance by an actress in the television series drama, Jodie Comer, Killing Eve on Hulu. Um, best mu television series musical or comedy, The Great on Hulu. Um, best performance by an actress in a television series musical or comedy. Uh, Elle Fanny, The Great, and Best Performance by an Actor in a Television Series, Musical, or Comedy, Don Cheadle, Black Monday on Hulu, Nicholas Holt, The Great on Hulu, Rami Yosef, Rami Hulu. Uh, best Television Limited Series, Anthology Series, or Motion Picture Made for Television, Normal People, Hulu. Best performance by an actress in a limited series, anthology series, or motion picture made for television. Kate Blanchett, Mrs. America, Hulu. Daisy Edgar Jones, Normal People, Hulu. Um, best performance by an actor in a limited series, anthology series, or motion picture made for television. Ethan Hawke, The Good Lord Bird, Hulu. Um, and that's it. Any standouts for you there? Nope, because I've never watched any of those. <laughs> I watched some of them. But, uh, I mean, like, everything on Hulu, I, I don't know. I don't yeah, really. The, the so, great. Uh, the I have great no idea one. what like 95% of those things are. Right. I know what Soul is, and I know what Onward is. Yeah. Now, the question is, which one do you want, Soul or Onward? I think I know which one you who vote for. Mine's Soul. Right. Mine is Onward. onward. <laughs> Although I, I think Soul is going to take it. I, I I know. And and it deserves it. I I will uh, give it that. So some of these movies I really want to watch, like this Nomad Land. I love Frances McDormand and yeah. Chloe Zhao. I, I, I really want to see what her direction style is like. I saw um one movie by her, and I cannot remember the name of it, but it was pretty good. It's very bleak, though. It was a very bleak uh, drama. Um, what was I going to say? The Great, uh, I think that both uh, Elle Fanning and Nicholas Holt were good choices there. So, um, yeah. But on, on the... Uh, just to digress for a second, um, uh, talking about Hulu, I thought I watched in and of itself. Pretty, <laughs> pretty intense, uh, but pretty cool. Like, I love magic. So <laughs> I loved when he did the magic, uh, magic trips. Not that, I, that that's the, you know. It's a very hard movie to explain without telling you what it is. Yeah, it, you, and finding out what it is. Because it's not like a movie movie. It's like yeah. a a filming a, of a show. It's a one man show that played on yeah. uh, in the theater for like I think they said like five hundred days. Wow, that's incredible. So that thing that he has in that show is at least five hundred things. <laughs> I can't, yeah, I'm like I don't wanna. 500 uh, stories. Yeah. I yeah. after watching that, you yeah. know like I I used to think that man, I really wish I saw the original cast of Hamilton. Yeah, form it. Yeah. Now I'm kind of like I wish I saw that more. I think person. it would have been I think it would have been even more powerful live. Yeah. Especially like 
when he's going around naming, you know, saying, this is what you wrote on the I am um, papers, which was pretty uh, impressive. But um, yeah, the the letters got me. <laughs> that's what that's what got me. That's where I, I was. Oh, I know. That's why I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the woman whose father is, uh, I don't want to give anything away, but the, the woman who, yeah, whose just father like, like, her. Then you're just watching it going like, how did he? Yeah. I don't know. That's Because at have... first I was like, that's got to be just like, you know, like, um, see, I don't even, <laughs> I, can't, I can't. Because he had like intimate details in some of those letters yeah. that, you know, like you know that only that person would know that it was. Yeah, that that's person. why I'm like, what? Because yeah. I'm like, if I was in that audience, mm -hmm. um, I mean, unless you know, part of that show was that that was pre something, but I don't know. That's such a. It's one of those things where I'm like, how, how one, yeah. how, and then like, like man, mm -hmm. I was in that audience. And I got chosen, like, and they're like, "Who is blah blah blah?" And like, oh, that's me. I know. I totally volunteer for the show. <laughs> I totally volunteer. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you're like, right. "I'll be Mister Tomorrow." <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. It is. But uh, but that it's... should have been nominated. That should have been nominated. That's see, that's the thing. Like, I don't know because it just is. yeah, because it just. Technically, it came hey, out in 2021. So. Right. Oh, so maybe, yeah. So maybe that's Maybe why. next year. So Hopefully we'll see you next year. year. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's a hard, it's a hard thing to describe to someone. And you can't really go into details either. Yeah. Because it's part of, part of that movie is kind of what it, it is. And it's, uh, I think it's really powerful moving and i'm like just how that dude came up with this idea and how he executed it yeah and then realized that he did it for like day in day out for who knows like five at least 500 something days right right exactly because i'm thinking this because is an of, intense show yeah it yeah is. um but so if you haven't seen it i would highly recommend it yeah, me too. I, Tissues. I wish I had it with me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tissues all around. Yeah, definitely. It's a yeah, unique man. experience, is what I would say. Yeah. And then afterwards, watch Hamilton or something because you'll need some kind of. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like dark and like sad. It just it it makes you very. It, it gets you think about things, and then you just yeah. want to like I just need something something to. Yeah, it's not uh, sad. It's right. It's more like I don't know. How it's to very introspective, it. right? And you, you know, it makes you. Uh, yeah, it makes you think, and think. It, yeah, but it's not sad. It's not. Yeah, sad. yeah it's not sad. sad. Okay. That's why I say it's like it's hard yeah. to describe what it is. But uh, you will cry. You will cry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> unless you have no tear ducts. <laughs> right. Exactly. Or so. Or so. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, moving on. Uh, 20th Century Studios has released a first look at the upcoming uh, animated film, Ron's Gone Wrong, which I guess Nimona is no longer being done or, or what? Because um, I'm assuming this is from Blue Sky uh, Animation to the 20th Century Studios. I don't know. Is it? Yeah. It looks really cute though. I mean that um whatever it is. <laughs> like the egg Baymax guy. <laughs> it's like little little egg like, Baymax. <laughs> I feel like it's if you took Baymax, combined them with that Eve. Japanese egg thing. Right. And Eve. And, and put a hat and put a hat on him. And uh, one of the robots from Black Hole. Yeah, yeah. A little exactly. leg parts remind me of. Right, of Vincent. Vincent's 
legs, even though it's not Bob. Oh yeah. Which someone just released that as a figure so I can buy it. Oh, I have old Bob. You showed me them. Remember? Well, uh, yeah, I have Vincent and old Bob. I mean, did I, <laughs> I never jumped on it. I think I showed it to you, but I never saw it. Yeah. Or I bought it. But now I'm like, it reminded me again. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I love those uh, robots. They're so good. But anyway, this looks really cute. Um, you know, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed um, Spies in Disguise for what it was. You know, it's not... Oh, yeah. Was... It's not on the same level as a Pixar film or a Disney film, but, you know, it was uh, fun. And hopefully under the, you know, the mentorship of the Walt Disney Studios, because uh, they have, you know, different people from Disney and Pixar now involved with Blue Sky, that you know, they can prove their stories um, and things like that. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's good. I like it. All right. So there is a rumor uh, that Premier Access for Raya and the Last Dragon uh, will end on June, in June. And that's because of some coding that people saw that... Uh, hmm. It'll become free on Disney Plus in June, and I, that sounds about right to me. Does it? March, April, May, June—three months after to go uh, free. Yeah, I can see it. Um, not exactly free, but uh, going on to digital and all that kind of stuff. Because I don't think Mulan went free right away. Yeah, uh, it went because the normal cycle is theatrical release, remember. digital release, and then it goes yeah. on to the streaming services. Which, yeah. depending, could be like a six month all, you know, like there's because like it with it coming out in March, March, right? Yeah, March fifth. I think that's still I too can't little time between it. Because like, you'll have its run, mm -hmm. and then that's usually ends with the digital release, kind of like Soul is having right. a digital release. Um, but Soul didn't yeah. have a, a premiere access release. So it's, I think, I think it's going to go off of premiere, which is normal. Kind of like Wonder Woman is now off of HBO Max, so you can't watch it whatever mm -hmm. um and then i'll go to the you know the 4k dvd blu-ray digital release for people to buy it right and then it will eventually go free on disney plus yeah so yeah i don't think it's f for i mean I, I believe it's premier access ending in june that makes more that makes sense that it's kind of available to those of us who buy it first ish um, for a couple months and then uh, then it goes. But no, we should we should still be able to have it past, you know, because we're paying for the right. No, I mean the action. People who don't can buy it at that point. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. Yeah. On whatever platform they want to buy it at right uh, right so i think that's what that is that's june i believe mm -hmm. and then it goes back it goes free probably fall on uh on disney plus yeah so yeah that that probably you're probably right about that because otherwise i think that's too soon for it to go free on whatever Mm -hmm. Um, because like I said, there's usually that middle part, which is the people who don't own Disney Plus, yeah, uh, availability. People who are just like, eh, I'm just gonna wait. Like, all right, <laughs> right. 
Right. Then you wait till June, and we'll yeah. watch it. I know. I I I'm dying to watch it. So I'm I'm buying it like first day. Yeah. So. All right. Well, uh, the same lines behind Once Upon a Time, Adam uh, Horowitz and Edward Kitsis. Uh, they are working on another fairy tale drama for ABC. And this one is supposed to be more like the flashback sequences where it takes place in the fairy tale world, mm -hmm. but they're doing like a different take on it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know exactly. Uh, what it's going to look like, but I'm there for it. I'm trying to think of what they would be doing. I don't know. Yeah. Because I'm like, maybe they're doing like a Grimm's, but I'm like, eh, that's already been kind of done. Yeah. I I mean, I don't know how it's going to differ from Once Upon a Time or. Right. Well, I mean, like, Once Upon a Time like, is fairy tales, but like, I mean, it's very obvious at some point that it was based off the Disney versions of yes. fairy tales. That's why I'm wondering if they're going to not let them be Disney versions or, right. you know, whatnot. I mean, Here's a real it will be interesting. I, I, I love fairy tales, so I'm going to watch it. Um, but, uh, I'm just curious to what their, what this take is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious too. And I hope that they do more international stuff. I mean, like when they say international, non European, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> because European is international as well. <laughs> but I think people got me. I think you got me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, Mo Marable uh, is going to be directing. Uh, Three Men and a Baby uh, on Disney Plus, and I'm not as familiar with Mo Marvel. Are you? Nope. Yeah. Anyway, he's going to be directing uh, Three Men and a Baby. Can't wait for that. That's the one with like Zac Efron. Yeah, the one with Zac Efron. And that's pretty much all we know about it. <laughs> we don't know the other two. We don't know. All I know, all I hope is that Steve Gutenberg uh, and uh, and uh, actually, I hope that that uh, what's his name again? Oh my God, Ted Danson and uh, and Tom Selleck and Steve Gutenberg all make cameos in it. That's what I hope. I mean, possible. And uh, oh my God, what's her name? Uh, the mom. Yeah, I forget who played the mom. Something Travis. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long. I'll just remember the, the three guys. Anyway, we hope that she yeah. <laughs> She makes a cameo as well. Not Excuse something. me. Not something. Would bug me. Yeah, look it up. Nancy Travis. Nancy Travis. I know that name, but I can't, I cannot for the life of me picture who it is. Um, I don't know if you were a fan. I, I know so my sister and our cousin Eileen and I are uh -huh. big fans of So I Married an Axe Murderer. So. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Now I know who it is. Now I know who it is. Okay, yes. I got it. Um, all right, well, cool. Um, here's an uh, interesting story. Uh, Aloha Rodeo is being adapted for Disney Plus. And the reason why I think it's interesting is the subject matter. It's about three Hawaiian cowboys who go to uh, Wyoming in the early part of the century. It sounds <laughs> fascinating. Like it. It almost sounds like it's going to be a comedy, but it's not. <laughs> it's, it's, and uh, I, I like the, I don't know why uh, Disney Plus has been doing a lot of Hawaiian themed shows, which I'm all for. Um, and uh, I think that this sounds really interesting. I don't know if it's going to be a movie or a television show, but uh, um, yeah, very mm -hmm. cool. 
Um, okay, so the last story we have is that Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella is coming to Disney Plus on February 12th. And this movie apparently is one of the most requested movies to go on to Disney Plus. Um, oh. Yeah, and it's the it's a version with Brandy uh, as the um, as Cinderella, obviously, and um, uh, Whitney Houston. Mm. So it's a 1997 version, not the one with uh, 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 what's her name, Elizabeth Ann Warren. Right? What's her name? It's not Elizabeth. Not Elizabeth Ann. Leslie Ann Warren. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like thinking of Elizabeth Warren, and I'm like, no, I'm like, that's what? not right. Don't Leslie know. Ann Warren, yeah, not the one with Leslie Ann Warren, the one with Brandy. But yeah, it is one of the most requested um, movies for Disney Plus, and so finally, people are getting their dream come true. That's cool. I don't yeah. remember it. I do. <laughs> I, I, it's a it's a great uh, adaptation of the musical. So definitely check it out when it comes out. I mean, like I I knew it was coming out. Uh, because of um, Victor Garber. Yes. Because he Garber tweeted it or something. I'm like, he was in that? <laughs> yeah. Victor Garber is in every musical. Is he? <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's in every musical. He's in a like, lot of, he, he was in a lot of Disney musicals because he was in Annie... Was he? This one, yeah. <laughs> not, like, not, not, not the one. Not the one. I know. Or not. Yeah. Right. I'm just the one like with Kathy Bates. I mean, like, I only really know him from, uh, like, movie roles or whatever. Like, the first time I remember him is from Titanic. So, mm. but I never knew he had like this musical career thing. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, guess I shouldn't. Remember when left. they did a musical version? A musical. Music, uh, musical um, thing of the Flash, the episode of the Flash, and okay. Victor Victor Garber was Professor Stein, and he had a musical part in it. Uh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, he's a big music man. So, yeah, there you go. Know. One to grow on. There you go. You go, Victor. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we have come to the end. This is good. See, we're trying to shorten our shows. So uh, <laughs> this is good. Uh, be sure to like our posts and uh, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, leave a comment below as to what your favorite story it was. Um, Share our posts with your family and friends, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, which I said a little bit too early. Uh, you can always reach us on at podcasts at castlescapesandclones.com. Leave us your feedback, good or bad. We'd like to hear from you. You can reach me personally on Twitter at Lojav and on Instagram at Lauren Javier. And all of this will be in the contact information or the description below. Uh, how about you, Rich? Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at r 2 Romasanta. All right. Well, the opinions expressed on today's podcast are solely our own and do not represent the Walt Disney Company, its subsidiaries, or assets. Thanks for, so much for joining us, and we'll see you later. Yep. Bye. Catch on the flip side.